Welcome all. Today in this session, I'm going to tell you that how you should log a bug properly in the Jira tool. So for this purpose, first of all, we have to discuss what are the important things which you should mention in the ticket. I will show you the practically by, uh, by logging the ticket into the Jira. But before that, uh, let me tell you about the important points. So the first important point is the bug title or you can say the summary this is the first important point which you have to mention which is going to tell you about the uh, the the main point of your bug now second important thing is that you have to mention the details so in bug title you are just mentioning the uh, summary or can say line of the bug and in the you, bug detail description you have to describe the bug in the detail so first thing you have to say uh, write it steps to review. So you have to give the uh, uh, details of the steps step by step uh, so that uh, uh, anybody can just uh, produce it using these details here. Second is that you have to mention the expected result. Like after uh, performing this step, what is the expectation from the steps? What is the expectation, expected result? And then you have to write the what is the actual result. That's why you are uh, uh, locking a bug here. Now, the third point is that issue type. So you can say in Jira, whenever you are going to log a bug, it, there is a field that is going to be, uh, that is going to tell you whether it is a bug, it is a task, it is epic. So in, in case of bug, the issue type, uh, issue type should always be a bug here. Now, another important thing is that environment details. So you have to mention the environment details, like you can say, uh, maybe you're testing on the dev environment, UT, or you are working on the prod environment. So according to the environment in which environment you are testing the, testing and in which your mind actually you're getting the bugs you have to mention it here now uh, another important thing is the priority of bug. that is uh, that is also very important because whenever you are going to log the bug developer will come to know that what is the priority on the basis of that he is going to uh, uh, start the start working on the bug here now another important thing is testing credentials so whenever you are uh, testing something so maybe maybe you are using some credentials so if the developer or any other tester if they also want to verify the bug they can use the credential so in case of credential you have to give the credential in the bracket i'm especially using the term key pass key pass means uh, actually it is uh, it is suggested that you should not put your credential in the Jira ticket because they can be uh, just because of security concern. You should not put the like username and password there. Uh, so in that case, we can use at any other tool like KeePass is a tool and which we can use it. And for KeePass, I have already created a separate video. What is the KeePass tool and how you can use this KeePass tool uh, for managing the or storing the credential for your testing purpose. So I will put the link of this video in the description of uh, this video. Okay, so now let me proceed with that. And the last important thing, which is in the ticket is the screenshot of the bug. A screenshot of the bug is actually, you can say it's not mandatory, but whenever you are putting the screenshot, it is going to give you the confidence that uh, really the bug is there and what was the reason. So it is actually, you can say it is giving the exit condition of the uh, exit condition when you found the bug on your application. So these are the important things. So now let me show you that, uh, let me try to show you uh, the bug in uh, real life. And then I will show you that how you can log the bug in the Jira. For that purpose, I'm taking the example of this application. This is my sample application. I've created as you can say HTML page, and then I'm going to show you with the help of this page and you can consider it as a application. So let's take the example. This is a login page. So here I'm putting the credential, valid credential here. So this is my valid username and this is my valid password you can say so when i click on i'm putting the valid username and i'm putting the valid password in and when i click on login i'm expecting a uh, user should be login and uh, it should uh, my application should appear uh, should appear the home page here so let me click on the login page when i click on login you can see instead of uh, instead of logged in it is showing me the error pop up so it means this uh, this functionality of login is not working with the valid username and password. Now we'll show you that how you can log a bug. So uh, first of all, do one thing, just uh, do not touch anything on this page. Uh, first of all, go to the Jira. So for that purpose, I've already uh, installed Jira on my machine for this demo purpose. So whenever you are logged into the Jira, uh, you will get the credential from your manager or team lead and you can use your Jira account for logging the bugs here. So here you can say, I have already uh, logged in my Jira account and there you, here you will get a 
a button create when you click on create button uh, you will get this window and in the this window you will first of all see the project here so project is why you can say currently you can see i'm uh, uh, you are able to see uh, it is showing me one project is already selected let's me automation that i have created for demo purpose and one project is that uh, pradeep jira demo so you can say uh, you uh, whenever you are working on the project uh, you will get the information from the lead or manager that in uh, in which project uh, which project code you have to use to log in or bugs that is that is uh, you can say a uh, project is created project is uh, project and project code is created by the manager or the lead in the company or or somebody uh, you can say who is taking the part in the uh, you can say uh, planning on the of the you can say uh, of your uh, application uh okay now here come to the the second important thing is that uh, after the project you have to select the issue type by default you can see it is showing you bug but uh, there are the option for improvement task new feature and epic so whenever you are going to log a bug make sure it is a bug it should not be improvement if it is a bug like in my case uh, user my login functionality is not working with valid username and password so you have to select the value bug here so now after bug uh, you will come to here and you can see the status here by default it's showing you the status here okay because you are logging the bug so definitely the status will be to do now here you have put the here you have to put the summary of the bug so you can see summary of the bug it should not be very very long uh, it should be something like that which should give uh, the idea of the bug here so here you can say i am putting the summary here uh, like you can say login is not working with valid username and password here login is not working with valid username and password so after uh, you can see it is giving the summary that my login is not working when i am using the valid username password after that you can say there is option that is called components okay so uh, after that uh, the important thing is the description here you can see in the description you have to mention so many things are there so the first uh, uh, thing i told you that you have to mention the steps to reproduce so you can say here in this uh, in this jira first of all you can do one thing you can uh, uh, put here uh, step to uh, produce heading and uh, let me do one thing here i can do one thing i just uh, make this as a heading control b and u here and here you can uh, write the steps here right you can use this uh, numbered list here also so one by one i will write the steps here so you can see the first step is that uh, so uh, the steps you should maintain clearly so anybody can understand the work so first step is that open application so you are opening the application now the second thing is that whenever you open the application it will show you the login page here so okay the second step is that it will open the login page now when the login page will come whatever what you are doing you are just entering the username valid username here okay when you enter the valid username then you are going to enter the valid password here this one so you are just mentioning the step one by one and after uh, entering the valid password what st uh, what step you have done after that you have click on the login button so you can see these are the steps here now you have written the steps to reproduce after that what you are going to write you are going to write what was your expectation means whenever you clicked on the login button what was your expectation so for the expectation i am just using a proper heading and let me again Uh, control b just like a heading here and here i am going to put my expectation so my expectation is that when i click on the login button after uh, putting the valid username and password my user should be logged in and home page should appear so this is my expectation now uh, after expectation you have to put a heading in the description like what is the actual result what actual result you are getting here so in the let me again do one thing let me make it bold underline and here i'm going to mention uh, what is the actual result so in actual result you will see whatever you have seen that you can mention it properly like i have seen that uh, login failed with message oops something weird so i have uh, i've seen this message so i put it in the actual result so you can say it in the description it is giving the proper uh, uh, proper detail like steps to reproduce reproduce expected results and uh, actual result here okay so now after that what you have to do what you have to do you can see it is the reporter by default it is taking your name so whenever anybody is logging the bug the reporter name sh uh, should be the name of the person who is logging the bug so here you have to give the fixed version because uh, currently you are logging the bugs so there will be no fixed version and here important thing is that priority so you have to give the priority now you can say you have to decide the priority you can say like uh, you can say for example login is very very uh, critical bug so you can take it highest highest priority is there so what you can choose the uh, priority of the bug according to your business okay so in my case login is really very highest priority so i put it high priority so here again the thing is that here you can uh, put some label uh, label uh, you can say if you want to put some label uh, for finding some searching for that purpose you can put a label a label can be anything sometime uh, you can say here uh, 
is here which is going to tell you about the uh, some specific part of the feature you can say for example you can say uh, login so i can put the login here so it is a label it is a custom thing so you can decide it now you can say it is created a login so login a label is a something like that which is going to uh, help whenever you are going to filter the bugs according to a particular feature something like that purpose you can use it now here you are going to mention the estimate here if you want to mention the estimate you can mention the uh, mention the um, some uh, approx estimate so for example i can write it one day so for this bug you are assigning one day bug here now here again important thing is the environment in case of environment you can say uh, uh, if you want to give the environment detail in the detail you can do it otherwise you can simply prefer, uh, try to write it like it is a uat it is a development it is a production environment you can write it here other than whenever you are talking about the whenever you are talking about the environment other than that you can provide the credentials here like in this environment definitely for the uh, testing purpose you have used some uh, you can say credentials here so you can provide the credentials here so in case of credential you can just uh, use the same uh, place here and just put a heading here uh, testing credentials okay and under this testing credentials i am going to put the uh, you can say credentials here so one here the one very important thing is that uh, whenever you are putting the credentials here so uh, usually people the credential like username i am passing it uh, putting here that is pradeep but in the case of password you should not mention the password here you should use some tool for that because whenever you logging the bugs maybe uh, it can be a very sensitive information so you should usually uh, you should use uh, do not uh, try to keep any uh, or put any uh, uh, key, uh, sensitive uh, information in the credential so you can use key pass key pass means you can say that this is the username but if you want to get the password you can use the key pass tool as i told you Uh, uh mostly people in the industry use the key pass tool for storing their password because it is a very uh, uh, uh bad habit to uh, keep your credentials or you can say uh, login credentials and other type of sensitive data in the flat file so that's why we use these type of tools so i have already created a video on that i will uh, just again provide the link of that video in the description of the video and you can see it it is a it is a free tool and you can use it after that you can say again i told you the important thing is that this is called attachment so uh, whenever you are logging any bug so the best thing is that how you can help a developer to understand the bugs you can put the uh, screenshot here for that purpose you can see here so okay it is gone so let me write again let me put a valid print credential here and let me valid password and now you can see this was the condition so i will take the screenshot here print a screen and uh, i will go to this bug here and uh, just simply do one thing i will put it here so in this way you can say i have just uh, you can say just take the screenshot print a screen and just paste it here so in this way you can uh, paste it the screenshot here okay uh, now you can paste it here now no 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 now in the affected version uh, we don't need to write due date select date here you can date uh, select the date uh, like if you uh, if you know that uh, when this work should be fixed like you can see there is a deadline for that for example it should be fixed in suppose take the example uh, on wednesday so i'm just putting the date here okay linked issue you can say whether it is a it is a it linked issue means it's block something it is blocking something so it is cloning so you can see here define maybe sometimes what happen that whatever bug you are locking uh, already somebody has locked the bug so in case it can be duplicated it can be relate, uh, related to something so here you can write the bugs here okay so now here you can say select the issue here so if you are trying to find some issue which is already locked you can find it here assign is you can say again the assign is that you can say mainly the developer whom you should assign this bug so here you will when you click on that you will already see the no, name all the persons who are already assigned or you can say assigned to this project in which you are just uh, making your testing maybe uh, uh, developers are assigned to that product so you will get the list of all the developers here and you can assign to bug them okay currently i'm just taking my own name here and here you can say whenever some you are going to bug a lock uh, definitely in the in standard format whenever a bug is going to be locked or uh, you can say uh, you are working in a, a particular project here so in case of project uh, we usually follow a proper process where is we re, uh, write uh, you can say uh, first of all stories are written then we create uh, epics then we create a task so uh, here you can select the epic uh, um, like uh, in which epic uh, related to a project you are going to link your bug here so in the future anybody can uh, easily uh, find it that uh, in this epic you have logged all the bugs here so now after that you will simply click on the create so when you uh, click on create you will see your bug will be here and if you want to see let me show you the click on view issue 
So here you can see in this way, uh, you should log a bug properly. And you can see here, every information is properly. Now, anybody uh, who want to uh, who want to work on this bug, or maybe uh, if you're not present, uh, if you're not available someday in the, you can say, uh, someday in the, uh, in, in the project, in the company, uh, uh, one day, uh, someday. So in that case, uh, the, anybody can just uh, go through this bug and will understand it properly. Everything is here. Everything, every important information is here. So in this way, you should log the bug. And this is, uh, you can say widely asked in the interview that uh, how you should log a bug and what are the mandatory things you should mention in the ticket. So uh, in this way, you can explain it properly. So now uh, you can say, if you, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any query related to the bug logging, you can put me in the comment of this video. And if you like the video, uh, you can click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it so that you can get the notification about uh, about other testing things like uh, related to the automation, related to the process, related to the other thing. You can get the notification from my channel. Thank you.